Right, so I'm here with Debbie King. Hi, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> right, okay, so this little video is about what does lean for growth mean to me? Because you, you and I have been involved, well, I've been involved a lot longer, but you've been involved with lean for growth now for over a year. So how, how what's happened? I mean, is there any, what, what sort of happened as a result of your involvement with lean for growth? Oh, my goodness, where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that probably the biggest impact has had for me personally, apart from huge numbers of new people that I've met, very uh, giving, um, lovely people, mm -hmm. part. partly I do that from my business perspective as well, but so and I have got quite a bit of work out of it as well, but primarily I think it's about the relationships that I've built, and you know, I've always been a little bit scared of that technology stuff, and uh, I've gone from just about being able to send an email and post a text message to now starting to run the sustainability TV show to no. the conference talk to boffins about you know things <laughs> and send whatever information they need and links to things and how to do all of that and to have a play around with the social media. That's again a little bit at the moment more about relationship growing it's not so much about business although that's part of it and um, just to feel it I suppose mostly it's about feeling a bit more connected to other people out there that you kind of feel a bit like a lone voice because it's been a bit of a greenie and I think you know, we should be living much more sustainably but not only have I now gradually started to meet up with other people who actually think, well, yeah, actually, that's right. But also to find people who are really, again, quite isolated in their desire to spread that news. And then once you start connecting up and finding, actually, there's quite a few people out there doing this stuff. In it, and it's quite, quite inspiring and it's quite... Um, and now, of course, you've got that platform, so these people that are struggling to get their message out there and all the things that they want to tell the world, and they can't do it, but now you've got this platform where you can actually say, well, if you come and talk to me, I can help you talk to the world. And that's, that's you. It is, it is. Very much so. And, and, and not only that, but, you know, they've, they've got their little communities as well. They're not, they might only be an individual fighting the battle, but they will have already built up a group of people that they are discussing things with and talking to it. And so that's been, that's been very inspiring. And you're actually growing food in somebody else's greenhouse. Now, how about that for a result? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it? And I'm not, that's not the only thing. You know, there's all sorts of things going on whereby recently somebody said, I've got a lawnmower, a petrol lawnmower, and a, a lady from the Link for Growth community, and I said, Yes, please. I've got an allotment and I can't take my electric one up there. I have to have a, a petrol lawnmower because otherwise I can't cut that grass because yeah, yeah. I can't get no power in that particular place. And we are responsible to keep not just our plot tidy, but grass tidy. Yeah. And now I've got a fantastic use for the grass clippings. I'm going to start making it into converting it into hot water. Well, more on that story later, I hope, <laughs> on the sustainability show. So don't forget to watch that one if you're watching this. Okay, look, there's loads of good stuff there, Debbie. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. And uh, I'll get this up today and we'll share it with the world. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you very much. Cheers.